Can you recall a time in your life where you felt extremely desperate? Like a moment where you felt like, I have no answers and I have no idea how I'm going to go on. I'm completely powerless over this situation, over my life right now. And it's, it's a really scary thing. Uh, maybe at the death of a spouse or maybe under mounting debt or something else. Whatever it is, those moments really bring something out of us and re help us to realize that, well, we're not in control. And really that we don't have all the answers. But it's really those moments where something in our heart hopefully opens up and, and God is allowed to work in that space. Today in the gospel, there's a real moment of desperation that Jesus comes upon. He sees this woman who's now a widow in the city of Nain and, and she, there's a funeral procession and they're taking her son, her son who has died now and, and she is just overcome by grief. But also, this is a true moment of desperation for her. As a widow, she has no other source of livelihood than her, her now deceased husband and son. Those were her sources of livelihood. Now she has nothing to live on. It's like, what now, God? What, what can I do now? You'll have to help me. And in that very moment, that's what Jesus does. He helps her. Jesus comes and beyond all expectation, beyond anything that we could ever imagine, Jesus raises her son from the dead. And Jesus does the same to us, but it has to be for us a recognition of our own powerlessness, a recognition of our desperation in life that we can't do anything without him. That's the truth really of every moment of our life that we don't always see. We have these illusions of, of power, these illusions of being able to control things, but that's not true. In the end, there's nothing we can really control. The only thing we can do is continue to surrender our lives and our wills over to God because he's the one who can truly help us, who truly has the power. And when we do that, we find that our lives are, are maybe a little less predictable, at least to our own, our own thinking, but a lot more serene. We, we know what serenity means in those moments. Let's ask the Lord today to help us to understand our own desperation, because at this moment, we are enslaved to sin and we are all subject to death. But with God, he has overcome those things. Ask him today to help you to overcome your sin, to save you at that moment of death because we need him and there's no getting around that fact.